large number of workshops remain unaware that Ford's popular 1.8 TDCI Lynx engine can have two high-tenacity timing belt systems, according to OE timing belt manufacturer Deco. Widely used to power Focus, Mondeo, Galaxy and Transit Connect models between 1998 and 2013, the Lynx engine was initially launched with a timing belt for the upper drive system and a timing chain for the lower drive system. However, in 2007, Deco designed the world's first belt-in oil drive system with a solution to supersede the chain-driven high-pressure injection pump, as Deco's Glenn Goldstone explains. The Lynx engine was first produced with the chain installation to drive the oil pump. Um, that was produced up to around about the end of 2007 or beginning of 2008 for the 1800 TTCI engines. Um, that you will find within Ford Focus and Mondeos and other applications. After 2008 it was decided to put the belt in oil system in. A lot of garages still believe that there is a chain installed in these engines when in actual fact it's a belt. The change period for the belt is the same for the upper dry belt as it is for the belt in oil. 200,000 kilometres or 120,000 miles. At Craig Bradbrook Motor Services in Wickford, Garage Wire TV spoke to owner Craig who was only recently made aware that these engines can have two belt systems after he was notified of an engine failure. Yeah, it's always been traditionally chain um, and from the outside they, will, uh, they look the same they do. There's no significant uh, changes you can see. Because if, if garages don't know it's a wet belt, uh, then if you're, if, you're, if you're changing the dry belt and don't tell them it's got a wet belt, then theoretically the garages could be liable for it. If any of the belts snap uh, uh, on these engines, uh, the valves are parallel to the pistons. So if the piston will hit it, uh, they usually uh, break the camshaft, uh, break the cam caps, bend the valves, can do the big ends going on it uh, and do a lot of damage. We have known that actually you've had to put a new cylinder head on uh, or worst, worst case scenario is put, is put a, a total exchange engine in the vehicle. It's a warning that Deco is issuing to mechanics across the country with its popular on-stand presentations held at trade events. Deco brought that to my attention and I found the seminar very interesting and informative. Yeah, it's all about information these days, you know, that's the key point all the time these days. If you haven't got the correct information, you know, you could be quite a bit serious trouble. Yeah. To identify if the engine you're working on has a chain or a belt-in oil kit, Deco suggests technicians can usually determine the difference by looking at the tensioners. Two different tensioners. The chain tensioner is domed at the base and has a black top to it. The built-in oil tensioner is flat and has a brighter, golder coloured top. From the external appearance of the engine you will be able to see, or you should be able to see, whether one is darker and one is lighter. So if it's the dark top, it should be the chain. If it's the brighter top, it should be the built-in oil. We supply two kits for this vehicle. The KTB251 is for the earlier vehicle, the earlier application, which is the black belt. For the later engines, we would supply the KTB470, which would be our unique white PTFE coated belt. And the belt in oil kit is a different kit supplied separately. It's a cassette, which should be like for like the engine. So remove the original belt in oil and replace the pulleys and the belt in oil as one cassette. For further information, visit daco.com or email info.uk at daco.com.